slogan on your shirt a few times in coaches' tweets and stuff. Where did that uh, come from, or what's the you know what's behind that? Uh, coach came up with it. Uh, at the start of the summer, when, when all the new guys came in, we got together, and he uh, he gave us a shirt and told us that uh, our shirts were uh, yeah three three colors. It was gray, white, and black. And I always say this: they say on common courage. On the common means like like just be different and uh, have courage and, and believe in what you're doing. How much different are things for you right now, having had a year of experience, knowing what to expect for the coming season? How much has that made a difference for you in your preparation this year? Uh, it's different. Uh, I mean, I'm one and only out of four or five returners. Uh, but at the same time, I'm still trying to find out my role for the team. Yeah, I guess how different it things. I mean, obviously last year you were a freshman, so everything was kind of new to you. But around the program, how different are things right now compared to where they were this time of year ago? Uh, it's very different. Uh, all the coaches are into it. All the players are into it. It's very competitive in practice. Xavier, uh, based on off-season videos and things, it seems like you know you guys have been in the weight room a lot. Have you been seeing progress in there? Have you been putting on some muscle? And <laughs> I look, I look pretty good. So, uh, Coach G doing a good job. All the guys are are, are staying healthy for right now, um, and we're, we're just we'll just keep keep lifting, and grinding in the weight room and on the court. But all that stuff, the uh, <clears throat> tweet out where you guys are carrying plates across the hot metal bridge. And all that, I mean, was that have you ever done stuff like that before? Or first time. No, uh, second year. Uh, it's called Panther Week, so it's my second year doing it. But I don't think we didn't we didn't run a run, we ran the south side and back with forty five pound weights, and that took a lot. But that that week was I ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> so you guys had to go back up like Bates Street with those big uh, heavy weights that drove to the south side. Yeah. All the conditioning coach drawing that stuff up. Mm hmm. So the morning after that week's over, what's that like? Like when you wake up that like following day. I'm in heaven. <laughs> X, uh, you, know, you had a good freshman campaign last year, but uh, coming into your second year, what aspects of your game personally do you want to improve on the most? Uh, so I met met with my uh, coach Cable after the season on why we needed to uh, be better. In. I mean, one one main thing was shooting, and uh, my assist to tournament ratio. What are some things you've worked on those things? Um, I'm always in the gym shooting standstill, standstill shots, and we have this little app that, that records it uh, on our percentages. Did, did you guys have that same thing last year, or has this been like kind of a new addition to the regimen? Uh, it's kind of a new addition. The app is, is and, it, and it keeps track of your shots, and the coach keeps track of it too. How does it track it? Uh, it's like a camera. We set, it's on our phone actually, and, and we just, all we gotta do is put our camera on like a little. It's like a little port, and and put, turn the camera on, and then it, it records how we're shooting and like the arc and everything. It's, a, it's an amazing app. You know, over these past couple of months, I mean, how much more of a what kind of a leadership role have you had to take on, and how much work did you have to kind of put into that to be a little more vocally assertive well, with guys? Uh, it's big. Because my one again, I'm the main one of the main returners, and I, and I have experience that I know that I know half of what it takes for them to win, and I'm always always one of the main guys talking. I, I know that from from coach coach's standpoint, he always, he always tell me you gotta talk more, you gotta be let be the loudest guy on the floor at all the times. You're the point guard. You know, does that kind of take some burden off of the coaches too, where you know where they don't have to do quite as much, where they you know where they have guys who know how things work and how they're supposed to. How much do you guys like you help with that? Uh, yeah, it it takes a little bit burden on the coach, coaches. Uh, they don't have to worry about about going re going over the same thing over and over again. If we had the players that that, that know the material and, and know how and know how to tell tell your other other teammates. From a I guess tactical perspective, are you expecting the team to look pretty much similar to what it did last year as far as like what you're trying to do on offense and defense? Nope. Not at all. <laughs> What's changed? Um, we we have 
way more athletic, athletic, like people. Uh, bigs, bigs got better at catching the ball this year. Um, we have shooters, and uh, the whole thing just changed. Is it the new guys, or is it guys that are coming back have, have changed their game too? Everybody, everybody has changed the game. Uh, these, these to Trey to to TB to all the returners, they have all all got gained gain something in the game. These was shooting Trey with with decision making. And, and Tia has uh, shooting and catching the ball. Next, you talk about uh, being surrounded by shooters. Um, who do you see uh, as being some of the best outside shooters on this team? Uh, Deese, Murph, uh, Trey, myself, uh, of course. <laughs> uh, but every, everybody. Has, has has worked on their game. I mean, coach, one one thing coaches coaches main thing on on the guards is you got to be able to catch and shoot in this league because that's one one of the main things we struggled in last year was shooting the ball. You trust uh, Terrell to knock one down. Oh, hundred percent. My main guys, uh, Kyrie Irving, uh, Kimba Walker. Uh, don't tell Jay Rich, but it's a little bit of Steph Curry. Uh, 